have become Children Learn Best and it is my challenge to us all to create the environments where all of our children are able to be happy and calm. That's not what I'm seeing with some of our um, schoolification. Um, and this really is Michael Gurian's message to us. He believes that they are definitely morally fragile and it is a place that you only know it at the end if they've come out that other side. So our job is from the earliest years to be building these things that build not only a moral code but as an ability to manage big ugly feelings without being wrong, bad or weak. Because that's the way that we're going to make a difference and turn these awful statistics around so that more of our boys can shine in our chaotic, confused, rapidly changing world. What's happening when our kids are getting such a good start and then a good number of them or a bad number of them are really going off the rails? And the question to all of you that, you know, and, and that I needed to ask when my kids were young is, you know, which way is my kid going to go? Am I going to have a beautiful teenager, a beautiful young man who's engaged and passionate and, you know, all of those things, or am I going to have a disaster kid? And do I have any say in it? Because something's happened. For the last 10 years, we've been watching Ken Robinson's TED Talk on the Schools Kill Creativity. If you've never seen it, it's been watched 10 million times around the world, around the world, 10 million times, and nothing's changed in our schools. 10 million people watch a video that says our schools are killing creativity and our schools are killing boys, and we've done nothing to watch it and go, yeah, you're right. So I'm going to have a call to action today. My call to action is let's not leave this room without figuring out something we can change in either our school for teachers or our son's schools and for parents tomorrow. Figure out a way to change something. Because the way we're going right now is our schools are bad for boys.